Why is it that so many of us have negative experiences with customer support in organizations that apparently don't realize that those experiences can fundamentally taint the ability of enjoying products and services that otherwise we would keep using for a much longer time. Is it possible to evolve support services and an organizational culture that incentivizes a dependable, high quality behavior on the side of those providing the service and a consequently radically superior experience for the customers themselves. My name is David Orban and this is The Context. There are examples of organizations that are able to deliver dependable, high quality support to the customers that may find whatever issue and problem with the product or the service that they purchased or that they subscribe to. An example for is an example of these organizations is Zappos, the uh, website selling shoes that uh, was acquired by Amazon for a billion dollars a few years ago and it is still operating independently. Years ago you wouldn't have thought buying shoes on the internet and today uh, it is a very normal activity for millions of people. One of the reasons why at all this is possible, at least with Zappos, is because of their no questions asked the return policy and the excellent support that they give uh, to those clients that they just want to have the right shoe. Maybe they made a mistake. Maybe uh, the delivery uh, was mistaken of not exactly what they thought they would be getting. But the decision by Zappos to enable uh, the customers to return what they bought very easily uh, is a fundamental component to even think about placing the order. I also had an excellent experience uh, with the uh, headphone maker Bose. Bose uh, headphones uh, can often be seen on uh, 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 flights uh, and they are extremely comfortable. The noise reduction that they allow you uh, to enjoy makes uh, the flight experience so much better. Uh, you arrive to your destination um, refreshed uh, because you are able to, to sleep better uh, you are able to watch the movie if you want to watch the movie or listen to your podcasts uh, and they really work very well until they don't. And so when my headphone um, started not uh, to work, on the left side uh, it just wouldn't reproduce the sound, it wouldn't reduce the noise. I called them, it was out of warranty. but without at all making me feel guilty about it, they volunteered to send me a new headphone replacing mine at no cost. Not only no cost in terms of the product, no cost in shipping. They sent uh, a pre-labeled, um, a, a pre... They sent a PDF with the destination prepaid. I just had to put it in a, a box and get it shipped at their cost. And even without waiting for it to arrive, they sent me the replacement item so I could have it as uh, rapidly as possible. 
What could be better experience than that? What could make you a loyal customer more than that? And just a few days ago, I had a very bad experience. Uh, I have been using a specific uh, hosting provider uh, for uh, dozens of websites uh, and a, a few of these have been uh, infected and uh, as an emergency response the hosting provider suspended my entire account including the websites that were not infected and rather than uh, the process of cleaning and restoring everything taking maybe not a few minutes, but uh, just uh, maybe one or two hours. It was almost two days uh, that uh, I had to fight over the course of almost a dozen uh, technical support calls and technical support chats, sometimes simultaneously juggling one uh, against uh, the other until I was finally able to have them turn the account uh, back up again with the, the cleaned website. And mind you that the cleaning itself did indeed uh, take just uh, a, a few minutes. Uh, their initial report listed what was wrong. Uh, we took care of it ourselves uh, with my team and then everything else was just a broken process for uh, turning the account back on. And what is amazing is that if you search online for the best hosting service in 2021, they are in the first place. Is it because their search engine optimization is very good? Is it because the review process of uh, these recommendations is itself bad? I don't know. But certainly, when I am dealing with an organization, especially a service organization, for example, an express courier, or as in this case, a hosting service, my question is not, how does everything go when everything goes well? My question is, what do you do when something goes wrong? How fast, how reliable, how intensively customer facing and driven are you when things are not going well? And yes, I am now looking for another hosting provider. So if you have any recommendations, I am happy to uh, take them uh, and uh, evaluate alternatives of which, of course, I will be asking, what do they do uh, when something goes wrong? Now, in an increasingly um, automated and AI-driven world, where the transparency of blockchain and the incentives of tokens and cryptocurrencies and new business models can support innovative solutions. What do you see that could provide the blueprint for a sustainably good, high quality customer service? That is so important everywhere in the world. It can really make or break uh, the high growth trajectory of a wonderful new business that can only survive if they keep making their customers happy. I don't have the answers. I don't know how to correctly match uh, the incentives, how to propagate a culture that understands the fundamental importance of this. 
it is not really a question of uh, the uh, employee handbook uh, in the support organization. My bad experience uh, was very uh, well documented and following all kinds of procedures of escalation of uh, a courteous and uh, apparently genuinely caring uh, feedbacks that would still hit against a wall of unreasonable outcomes. So it will be interesting. I think there is a huge opportunity here. Uh, the solution, in my opinion, is a combination of smart routing and application of rules of better incentives on all sides and a so fundamental component, common sense. Knowing and having the authority to go beyond the rules when those don't and should not apply. Knowing what are the rules that you should break is always an important question. Having the ability and the authority and the courage to make uh, those decisions, breaking the rules, uh, are door openers to new possibilities. Thank you for listening to this uh, episode of The Context. If you like it, I invite you to become a fan, a sponsor, a supporter, a benefactor on Patreon at patreon.com slash David Orban. See you at the next episode.